Hey everyone and welcome to the Mac Observer and in this video we will discuss again about iOS 18.1.1 which seems to be driving users crazy because this update has a lot of issues. Now usually updates like 18.1.1 are pretty minor, they're not the ones that introduce groundbreaking features or big bugs and this one is actually a security update. But not only so, because people reported a lot of issues with it. So let's just start. The first one relates to the Photos app problems. So what's the issue with it? The Photos app itself. It's crazy how many people don't like the new changes that Apple made. And most of the comments I've seen related to this update was how the Photos album is just not it. A lot of users seem to feel like it's clunky or hard to use. And to be fair, this isn't something new with 18.1.1. It's been a gripe since iOS 18 rolled out. But man, Apple really needs to pay attention to this. Moving on, we have some sound problems as well. A bunch of users have said their sound randomly cuts out after this update. That's super frustrating, especially if you're watching something or being on a call. It's not widespread, but it's definitely popping up in the comments. So if you have it, make sure to comment as well in this video. Next in line, we're talking about battery, more precisely battery life. A lot of users also reported that the random battery drain is hitting quite hard. And if you're coming from iOS 17, chances are your battery life was better on that version. But here's the thing, battery performance does tend to improve after a few weeks with updates like this, so hopefully that's the case here too. Just hanging in there. Another big one, passwords. Some people are freaking out because they can't find their passwords in the setting app anymore. But here's the deal. This isn't a bug. Apple has moved all your saved passwords to a dedicated passwords app. It's not in settings anymore, but it's still on your phone. Just search for passwords and you'll find it. And lastly, we also have lag issues with this version. This one seems to affect a lot of devices running iOS 18. And while it's super annoying, it's also one of those things that usually gets better with time as Apple refines the software. So here's the roundup with what people say about iOS 18.1.1. Do you hate it? And if you do so, make sure to comment in the section below and like and subscribe to our channel. 